So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans more specifically. We're going to be looking at the Iron Pledge pieces. So if you guys don't know if this is your first video, we look at an armor set. We review the armor set, which is right here. We also show you uh, how all the shader looks, which is right here. And then we get into the individual set pieces for the classes. So for example, the Hunters already have a video. It's right here. And in that one, I use individual pieces from that armor set and then make individual sets from those. So it's just one of those things that i like to do because sometimes like i i personally think people would like to get some help with like oh maybe the arms for the titans is not as good as you think and then i can show you a set that's like well actually like this looks really dope you've changed my mind something like that and also it's just for me because like i really like challenging myself to make a set with a certain ornament or piece it's just one of those things for me so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it because i do think my content is worth it considering i post a lot of content and it is just me making these videos so again i really do think my content is worth it uh, check out all of my videos because again it's a lot of fashion i so much so that uh i kind of messed myself up but i do like making these videos and apparently a lot of people like that as well because my channel is doing really well right now so let me know what you guys think other than that the helmet so we're going to be using the iron pledge ornament for the helmet and the arms we're going to be combining it with that Mongolian set that I've made for the Curse of the Fallen Star. I really like this Curse of the Fallen Star look just because it, it, kind of, it has a whole theme to it. And I think the arms and the helmet really lend themselves to it, which is why I'm really happy with this set. So for the chest piece, we're going to be using Curse of the Fallen Star, like I said, with no ornament, just because, again, I want to really showcase uh, that Mongolian look which is why we're also using insight and yielding for me i don't know what it is um i guess more appropriate i should say like asian look because mongolian i don't know like Mon the, the reason i say mongolian is because the boots remind me of mongolian armor specifically the hips um or the thighs i should say i've seen armor that looks like that which is why immediately my head goes to mongolian and then the Lagatus mark because uh the Lagatus mark is mongolian themed if you guys don't know the Lagatus mark is from the Keitel armor and Keitel's very like Asian, almost Mongolian theme. So that's why I say Mongolian mostly. So I really like this for the shader and precursor, precursor Vex Chrome uh, is coming back from the Hunter video because it makes the un, un, inside unyielding greaves shader really well because unfortunately inside unyielding shaders fucking terribly. So just be aware of that. As for the next set, we're going to go for a Viking look. For this one, we're going to be using the Lorelei Splendor Helm. This is one of my favorite helmets to make sets with, specifically with the this word right here. I'm not even going to attempt to say that shit, but it is like the Viking look. It's really, really cool. Really like that one. For the arms, the Care Morin Gauntlets with the Wolf Kiss Plate is a good combo, at least in my opinion it is. Then the Iron Plage Ornament and then the God's Bane Mark. So this is a lot of a lot of Viking pieces. I think the Wolf Kiss Plate and the God's Bane Mark are kind of like the biggest pieces that are like super Viking thing considering Wolf Kiss is literally the Viking set from Assassin's Creed. And then the God's Bane Mark is from God of War where it's like mostly Viking theme. So it's for me, it's like it, it fits. And then the Iron Pledge, I think, looks really well with this. So I actually love this set. I The only thing I would tell you is if you really wanted to go that extra step, I would probably tell you to switch out the Care Morin Gauntlets with the Wolf Kiss Gauntlets just because more fur will never hurt. But I actually do think this was really cool for the shadering in Silvered Snare. I didn't even realize I was using the same shaders from the last video. But I love the shader. It's one of my favorite shaders, like I said in the previous video. But yeah, nothing too much to say about this. As for the next one, we're going to be using Mask of the Quiet one. I love this helmet. It is one of my favorite helmets. And then for this one, we're going to be using the Mark. So this is really unfortunate. You'll see it. And I actually do mention it in the video. But for the Iron Pledge Mark, it looks fucking terrible when you shader in certain pieces. You guys will see this had like has that digital like print on it, which is very unfortunate because I would have loved to see how Dreaming Spectrum looked on this when it shaders correctly because... Dreaming Spectrum is one of my favorite shaders. Speaking of which, we're using Dreaming Spectrum for everything. And I'll explain why in a bit. But for the Arms Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets with the Desolation Diver Plate is a good combo. Just because the, the chest piece is really small and the arms are really small as well. Speaking of small, the Karamoran Greaves are also small as well. But also, 
I like the fact that it's not just plate armor. There's a lot of leather in there, so it kind of like evens out the plate. It looks really cool in my opinion. And then for, again, like I said, Iron Pledge Ornament. So I honestly think you would do a better job at switching the shader out. That being said, if you like this armor set combo, you will have to stick to a shader that combines all of the armor pieces into one color because the chest piece the arms and i think the boots as well also take shaders really differently so i think that chest piece takes off colors i think the uh specifically the helmet if i remember correctly it's the actual helmet and not the chain in the front that takes off colors there's a lot of issues with this so that's why i'm using Gem dreaming spectrum because it combines everything into just one cohesive color instead of just different armor piece has different armor colors so that's pretty much it for this one. I actually do like this one a lot. I would just switch out the mark, honestly, because if it if it shadered well, I actually wouldn't mind with Dreaming Spectrum because, again, I love Dreaming Spectrum. But I do think this is a bug because the Hunters have it and the Warlocks don't have it. So I th do think this is a bug that they will fix eventually. And last one, all these are going to be using the chest piece. I usually don't like to go out, go out of order. Usually I would like to stick to like helmet, arms, boot, chest piece, boots, and then cloak or mark, class item, whatever. Um, this one, however, I put it last because it was really rough and I kind of don't even like this look as well. So for this one, Nightly Noir Helm with the Radiant Breaker Gauntlets is a combo that I usually like to do a lot, especially with the Radi Radiant Breaker Mark and for the exotic, the Path of the Burning Steps with the Pyretic or Pyretic Footfalls. I like to co combine a lot of these and the Iron Pledge Ornament is just honestly just a placeholder because i had a lot of trouble with this chest piece not only is it really thin on your titan but it also kind of shaders terribly sometimes it's just kind of weird and also honestly i the, your best bet would probably to you go for like a viking look i feel like that would be the best choice that being said i also had a lot of trouble with that just because we don't have exotics that have that viking themed aside from the exotic that i already used for the second set which is why i'm not using it again so I, I don't know i had a lot of trouble with this one not saying it's bad by any means it's just it's rough like let me just say that it's a little rough just because again me personally i feel like the best hiding looks are always when they incorporate really bulky chest pieces because for me a titan is a titan when their chest is bulky i feel like that's they just make it they they look like a juggernaut and for me that's the coolest looking titan so for the shader, Carmenica only to get that Nightly Noir Helm Islet, um, an orange color, so that way it can match everything else. Literally, that's it. So let me know what you guys think, Titans. Let me know what you guys think. I will have the Warlock videos up soon. I So I didn't say this in the, hunt, in the Hunter video, but I am currently going to be making the year two armor, all of, all of the class individual sets right now. So I'm going to do the Warlock next and then the year three armor as well because i'm going to be going out of town i'm going to go to la to celebrate my grandmother's 90th birthday so i will not be here for a lot of things hopefully i can get some a lot of the videos done so that way there is no like slow day where there's no video because i want to keep pushing out content that being said it's going to be rough because i literally leave tomorrow and not even tomorrow well technically tomorrow no tomorrow at 2 a.m so today right now it's 10 40 i have a lot of time but i also don't have a lot of time because i have to edit all of these i still have to play this thing too because i haven't played it this week and i also have to do the weekly videos and then unfortunately i won't be here for the last call so make sure you go to the vendors because i'm not going to be here for that but next week i will be backing up and do back up and doing stuff for the channel specifically for you guys so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later